was killed one hour ago, my job is to collect evidence which could help the investigation, such as objects, blood, fingerprints, or other human elements which, could be, which will be analyzed. We are going to number all the proof and take some pictures and send the, um, the proof to the, labor the medical laboratory. Look, I found a hedge knife covered with blood. I will take a sample of blood. Maybe the victim has wounded the murderer and I could find his DNA. The analysis of blood stain is very important because it can point out the movement and action which happened. In this case, the origin and the direction of the blood stain show us that the victim was stabbed in the back. Here, she struggled and she fell in this, at this place. Now, go on the laboratory, prove this hypothesis and analyze the proof. Hello, we are this morning in Compiègne Police Scientific. In this place, work forensic chemists. This professional analyzes evidence that is brought in same creams and reaches a conclusion based on test run of that piece of evidence. A forensic chemist's job is to identify and characterize the evidence as part of the larger process of solving a crime. The end of the evidence collected from the crime scene. Evidence may include air sample, paint chips, glassy fragments or blood stain. Understanding the evidence requires tools from many disciplines, understanding chemistry, biology, material science and genetics. The prevalence of DNA analysis is making knowledge of genetic increasingly important in this field. Earlier this morning, a crime was committed and we will have the change to follow the investigation. Try to find a fingerprint in this knife cream. I put this film and this knife. Now, I am going to do UV analyse. And you can see a beautiful fingerprint. What were you doing yesterday in the wood? Um, I was looking for something to eat, but finally I got lost. Why weren't you in front of the church at the end of the mess? You would have been able to learn a lot of money. It's not realistic. Nobody gave me money. I have to find my, f I have to find my own food. That's why I was there. Uh, my last meal was uh, two days ago. Moreover, we found your fingerprint on the weapon. For me, you are guilty. No, I am not guilty. I am not a murderer. A fingerprint is unique. Each of us has his own fingerprint. So why your fingerprint? can be on the weapon. I needed money. I was so hungry. I found her on the road. She was, she was already dead. Uh, I took her bills and went away. I don't want trouble with justice. I don't want trouble. I think you should not need it anymore. Uh, so what's the problem? I think that she resisted and you killed her. She had three children and you killed her for money. You are going to spend the rest of your life in jail. I swear in God, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know her as I don't have enough money to buy a knife like it. We shall see what the autopsy on her will reveal. But to my opinion, you are guilty. We are going to analyze your blood and see your alcohol level. You are going to test a breast and liver test. What should I do? Uh, how does it work? For the need of investigation, the oral dichromate of potassium oxide ethanol present in your breast and turn green is 2,000 less than the real concentration in your blood.
The indicator shows us you have alcohol in your blood. If you drank, how can you remember you didn't kill her? Because I saw the murderer. He was running with a white sweatshirt with a child on the front. He was running a jean and blue shoes. That would help you. I hear the story every day with drunk like you. You smoke too much. I can't smell alcohol from 10 meters of you. Maybe you think you didn't kill her, but you just forget it. We are here to done the autopsy of uh, our victim. Uh, an autopsy is the examination of a body after death, uh, which may uh, also be referred to as a post-mortem. The autopsy is performed by a pathologist or a coroner and reveals aspects sir, uh, at its cause, uh, the weapon uh, used and the time uh, since this. Uh, so, uh, autopsies are more often used uh, for proposed unrelated to crime. Uh, they play a crucial role in a murder investigation uh, that uh, the field of uh, forensic medicine has a large impact on where the investigation should begin. So what about cause of this? The cause of this refers to why this occurred and shouldn't be confused with how the victim was killed. A variety of measures are taken by coroners to establish the manner of this was accidental, natural, suicide or murder, depending on the situation and case type. Moreover, forensic science provides a number of solutions to solving the mystery question of when a person died. Generally, the longer it has been since this, the less accurate the estimation given by forensic pathologists. We can determine it with skin color, body temperature, and etc. So after this, what about mark of violence? A murderer will always leave marks of violence on the bodies of the victims. During an autopsy, these marks uh, may be difficult to find if the murder agent was drugs or poisoned, but these agents can still be found uh, through blood tests. We can find bruising, cuts, or gunshot on the body. Now, with all this technique, we can easily find cause of this and help this man to stop the murderer. So, we find blood on the crime scene. We will therefore make an extraction DNA. It begins with a cell disease thanks to grading followed by extraction with detergents, which will dispense to the lipid bilayers membranes and denature proteins, particularly those associated with DNA chromatin. The solution obtained is usually very viscous because the DNA is represented by a very long filament. Then, the solution is Deprotonized by organic solvent, typically used phenol added to chloroform. The denaturated proteins from a precipitate at the interface phenol water, while the DNA remains in solution in aqueous phase, will be recovered by centrifugation. The DNA is then precipitated by adding ethanol in the aqueous phase collected by centrifugation and desulfured in buffer. To remove trace of phenol and other contaminants, we can finally perform purification by chromatography. Now, we have the DNA and the fingerprints. They will be compared to the database and we will find the murderer. In a few minutes, we will have the results of analysis. <gasps> It's slow, it's tangy. Let me remember. I have already something about it. I know, it's currently wanted. Thanks to the by scientists, we have an identity of the potential culpable, Mr. Tangi. We have obtained a search warrant too, so let's go to the flat murderer. Now be quiet. Mr. Tangi! CPS! We have a search warrant! Open the door, Mr. Tangi! We go on! Enter! Mr. Tangi! You are under arrest! Look at this! This is the clothes 
that the clown describe us. Oh, and they are blood stain. Oh, this is the hell, Mr. Chungi. Follow us, please. Our team has discovered a cloth covered by strange stain. Maybe this is blood. In this case, Mr. Chungi will not be a suspect anymore, but it will become the murderer. That's why I'm going to analyze this stain. For that, I will use the hydrogen peroxide, which, in contact with the blood full of, bac of bacteria, reacts and realizes hydrogen, creating an effervescence, a kind of moss. I will try. Note that the hydrogen peroxide reacts to create a moss. The color of this moss reminds the, the blood's color. So we have solved the murder. We have our guilty. In conclusion, we prove the innocence of the trunk with the help of DNA profiling. All the forensic technology are not reliable methods but are very useful to find clues on the crime scene. The work of investigation will always be an important part of the research of the murderer, but there is also other technology like road trail, ballistic, computer forensic or toxicology that can help us to prove that somebody is guilty.